I would never, ever in my life get off the plane for you, specifically you. Maybe everybody else. I would get off the plane. You gonna wait 40 minutes, and I'm gonna be on a private yeah. plane home. So fat ass. Yeah, I will. Get your ass off the plane for a second. What's going on, y'all? This is Brandon, AKA the Port City Attorney. Today, we're gonna be reacting to a video from Code Blue Cam titled, Odell Beckham Jr. Gets Kicked Off Flight. On November 27th, 2022, officers were dispatched to a medical emergency at the Miami International Airport in Miami, Florida. Prior to departure, the American Airlines flight crew attempted to wake a passenger to fasten his seatbelt, but he appeared to be coming in and out of consciousness. The passenger was identified as 30-year-old NFL wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Due to the flight crew fearing he was seriously ill and that his condition would worsen through the five-hour flight, they called for police and fire rescue. Hello. It's a football player, and it seems like uh, either drunk too much or it's something that is not responding. Okay, rescue's here, huh? No, but it's not responding. Is that a rescue's here? Yeah, it's just came in, or? Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You guys just landed, or? Hi, no, we were leaving. I'm sorry? We were leaving, not, okay. not taking off. Upon arrival, the officer suspected Odell was extremely intoxicated. Come on, I don't know. He said he's like that. He's been like that. Yeah. Waking him up. I don't know. No, he opens up his eyes. Sir, are you able to get up? Can you get up, please? please? Uh, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Was he drunk? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's wrong? The airlines called for you, sir. I don't know what it's. You good? How you doing, bud? No, 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 no. I don't think you'll be no responsive, but they're trying to get to a man to get a push He's probably on a deep sleep. He's probably tired. Okay. He looks good to me. Okay. 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 No, sir. Where's his pants? Oh, sorry. Where's the baby's pants? What do you mean? He's the only guy that's underwear. Yeah. Yeah, they're on. Are they on now? Yeah. Yeah. So they weren't on before? No. Go back, go back, Brian. Okay. Go back. Go back. They said his drawers were down? What is going on? He seems normal. He seems fine. He's not in interrupting anything. They just asked him to put his seatbelt on. I don't think that counts as being disruptive. Being drunk in public shouldn't be a crime. It is in some jurisdictions, but what'd he do? We're good. Yes. Yeah? We're good. Okay. Do you know how many times you've shaken him to put his seatbelt on and he's wearing his spot? Might, if you don't want him to fly, that's a decision that you guys are going to have to make. That's, you know, you tell the captain and then we'll, we'll get him out, but that's something that you guys got to make. Multiple times, multiple people. Hey, sir, sir, put your seatbelt on. All we're getting is this. I, I work, this is a five hour flight. Yeah, this is five hours. Be going with this, like, five then that's up to you guys. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's up to you guys. Okay. But medically, if he doesn't want us to check him out, I can't make again. And I don't really say anything wrong. He might be tired or have taken a long trip and doesn't want to follow orders. That's a whole other animal. He told her he just came from a club. Yeah. Okay, I get that. He's and tired. He's, and he's taking stuff. Like this and he's not even responding to us to put on the seat. Or he he just seat. responded to know where he's at. He, he knows where he's at, exactly where he's flying. And he had pants on when he came on. He doesn't have pants. pants on now. His pants are on now. His pants are on. Well, now? he had shorts on. Had to wear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. These cops and these fire department or EMS uh, first responders do not <laughs> want to deal with this. But these freaking flight attendants, man, they are on one. They don't want him on the flight. Just just let the guy be. He paid good money for that seat. He ain't doing nothing. Apparently, he took his pants off, but that's a legend. No pictures I've seen. This, is, this seems weird. This is why people don't want to fly. Flight attendants asked Odell to exit the plane, but he refused, causing all passengers to deplane. And then what happened? And I, I so went by. So the captain said he's getting off. He's trying to get him to get his things. Okay. I, we tried to get him to get his seatbelt, and we wouldn't. We just yeah. he would take check his head and go. He's mad at us because we called you. I said we're worried about you. Okay. That's fine. You guys are doing your. You guys are I don't doing know your if job. He's going to go deteriorate once we get in the air. So he's all there. Don't worry. So, the captain wants him to go back. All right, so let's talk about airline protocol for a minute. Now, first, I need to make this disclaimer. I don't necessarily care about Odell Beckham Jr. I, 
look, I'm a Colts guy, okay? Uh, don't care about any of the teams he's played for. I picked him up on a fantasy league one time. He didn't do that great. Uh, so that's not me being biased because I like the guy, right? I don't necessarily care for him. I just think that uh, flight attendants need to probably understand that not only do they serve alcohol on flights, but that it's a regular practice for people to drink on flights. I mean, airport's the only place where you can get a beer at 6 a.m. and nobody bats an eye. If I crack a beer at 6 a.m. on a Tuesday, everyone says I need help. That's a joke. But airline protocol, right? So whenever you sign um, or whenever you buy your ticket, you purchase it with a bunch of disclaimers that some lawyers wrote a long time ago. That states that you are subject to the rules and regulations and that you can be removed from the flight basically for whatever reason. And so here, you know, there's obviously a rule and a federal aviation regulation that states that all passengers have to be buckled in prior to taxiing and takeoff. They were unable to uh, awake him in order to get him to buckle his seatbelt. Now, a reasonable person probably would have said, hey, look, I'm just going to shake this guy awake. OK, I can't shake him awake. I'm just going to reach down and put the seatbelt on him because I want to get out of here. I don't want to waste all these people's time. Right. This is a large plane. Uh, it's probably three by three by three. Right based on the fact that first class is kind of up there. Seems like a large plane. A lot of people's flights are being delayed because they didn't want to deal with this unruly passenger. While in my eyes, as a as a defense lawyer, he wasn't being unruly. He was just asleep, right? How can you be unruly if you're asleep? Um, so I, I think the flight attendants blew this out of proportion just a little bit. However, when they asked him to leave and the captain asked him to leave, they were within their rights to ask him to deboard. And when he didn't, he's then potentially trespassing, right? So you're subject to, you know, the rules and regulations of the airline. You're subject to the rules and regulations that the captain puts out. And so if you don't follow those rules, you can be asked to leave. And if you don't leave, you can potentially be trespassed and banned from flying on that specific airline. I'm trying to get him to get him off, but he doesn't want to get off. So stay here, please. Well, that's going to be a totally different thing if he doesn't want to get on. Okay, so he's at that point now, he won't tell me? What, we have a procedure that we have to follow. If he refuses to get off, you're going to have to be bored, everybody. To the situation? Correct. I think it's everybody at that rate. At a first class. Yeah, so he's going to be going to start going away. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Just, no, he doesn't want to come off. He so does he, not want to come off. So now he's coming said. to the next. Okay. Right. Advise the sergeant to come here. Um, motor seventies on the way. Who needs to come off? We're gonna have to deport everybody. Okay. In first class. In then, first class. Okay. Can we raise them already? No, 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 no. The entire. Uh, uh, it's two thousand. I, I believe it's a whole. It's first, a whole right? plane. Huh? You gotta deport the whole plane. Two thousand dollars. No. Um, ready? Yeah. Shall I take I'm going to talk Not yet. To well, let's see. I think he's still talking to him. Because we can't do anything until a supervisor doesn't get here. He refusing to come off? Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm not He's refusing to come off. He's got to have money. Because he's in first class. He's Odell Beckham. You follow football? Oh my God. That's Odell. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. See, they weren't even biased because they knew he's Odell Beckham. That first responder, that fire uh, fighter, was advocating that, hey, look, he's just asleep. Leave him alone. He didn't even know that it was Odell Beckham. He was just like, oh, he's probably got money. He's in first class. Oh, that's Odell Beckham? I don't think his celebrity status had anything to do with how the officers and first responders acted towards him. I think that they mutually believed, as I have said, he was just doing what most people do. He was asleep, right? Um, but unfortunately, they told him to leave. He won't leave. Now they gotta. Now they gotta go through the processes to get him off the plane. No, it's uh, not. Yeah. So she wants him off. They, the captain wants him off. They were taxiing out. Yeah. yeah. So they want to hold them back. What is he? What is he? I mean, what has he done to, to make him want to? Can I get his signature? Like they're afraid they're gonna have him make like emergency. <laughs> yeah. Okay. NFL. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God! I left my phone. Too bad. I have my phone, bro. I left my phone. That's too bad. Apparently, they said that he took off. They said he took off his pants. Oh, really? He was in underwear. He told the lady that he's been clubbing all night. He's probably either drunk or both pills and drunk.
Yeah, we gotta deboard everybody. There's a procedure. We can't. We gotta wait for a supervisor to get here. Make sure as each individual person gets off, just let them know what they're on. Just get off the plane. Just get off. You can get off the. You just if you. Hey. Bro, this this guy, this guy, people are telling him, hey, get off the plane. Don't make everybody deboard. Okay. Bro, alright. Okay, buddy. We're gonna get. Uh, huh? Yeah, get away. We're gonna deport everybody, right? Or just first class? Well, we're gonna have to, yeah. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, it's everybody. So she needs to start making that. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you want me to you want me to tell her? Yeah. Oh. Yes, everybody. Are we getting everybody out? Yeah. Huh? Open? Yeah. They're they're gonna announce it now. Uh, who's the guy in charge? The guy over there? Yeah. How you doing, sir? You're the you're the uh, person in charge. How you doing, Sergeant Garcia? I'm the police department. So I understand that that one passenger is very he needs to get off, right? Yeah. Very intoxicated, belligerent. No, he just that. He was unresponsive prior to push. He seemed okay. Then after when they pushed, they tried to get him to put his seatbelt on, but he was still passed out. When he came back, we tried to get him up. Couldn't get him up. Called paramedics. They finally got him up. Crew at this time don't feel comfortable with him flying because they're not sure what's going on with him. So I just kind of asked him to just go ahead and be plane and I'll put him on the next flight, which actually leaves an hour and a half from now. Okay. But now he's being belligerent and non-compliant. They don't want to come on, so unfortunately I have to deplane everybody to get him on. Correct. Because okay, he refuses you know. to come on. Alright, so that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to deplane everybody. Once we have everybody deplane, then we'll deal with him uh, and hopefully he'll, he'll get off yeah. peacefully. If not, then... Let's go, let's go. Okay. How you doing, man? Can I speak to you for a second? Yeah, yeah listen. How you doing, bro? Rene Garcia, Sergeant with Miami-Dade Police Department. Nice to meet you. Listen, unfortunately, it's not our decision. We just don't understand. They, listen, apparently you, you were passed out. They had to wake you up. They had to come back. Uh, uh, I've taken off. You need to be on the plane. He's taking off. The phone is like, what have you been in the middle of flight? 13-hour flight. We've got eight hours to do this. I asked to have any air in the middle. I've never had this happen to me. It's not a very specific reason. I get some pressure, but apparently it's like that. You were intended to be on the back. Okay. 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 We're gonna have Sorry. to we're gonna have to deplane everybody on this plane, and then you're still gonna get off. That's fine. Okay. What fine. I'm saying is, I would be less addicted about what was going on. So fine. So we're, we're gonna have to go through that process. And then we're gonna ask you, okay? That's fine, right, much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. What's your name again? Sergeant Garcia. Rene Garcia. Okay. okay. Bye. So listen, just make yourself comfortable. Once we deplane, then I'm gonna ask and then we'll just walk off, okay? And hopefully they'll, they'll put you on the next flight, okay? All right. How freaking frustrating and annoying would that be? Uh, I've been on a plane that's late before. I've never had to deal with something like this. Um, yeah, that sucks. I'd be mad if I was one of those passengers. Definitely wouldn't pick him up as my uh, wide receiver on fantasy if he ever got picked back up by a league. Hey, 
Hey, hey. Just follow. There's nothing you can ever say to me, ever. That's it. I appreciate it. The only person I feel like is the Bro, but that's it. You don't have to talk to him. Everything wrong with the world. Looking at me to get off the plane. For you. I would never. Maybe everybody else. I would get off the plane. This shit don't mean nothing to me. Ain't no way you could look at me. Ever. Ever. Guys, just don't just don't ever. You gonna wait 40 minutes and I'm gonna be on a private plane home. Yeah. Get your fat ass. Yeah, I will. Get your ass off the plane for a second. Yeah, I bet. Enjoy the cheese board on the way home. Get your ugly ass. I mean, nothing to me, bro. Got life up. I'm sorry. All you had to do was wake me up. You're going to go that way? Yeah, you guys are playing around the galley. They're about to get Oh, I've never, I've never, never in my entire life experienced this game. I've never, I've never in my entire never, I'm still on the phone. Make everyone get off the first class because I wouldn't get off the plane. No, no, I kid you, I kid you not. I flew in London, did two hours, woke up eight hours on the flight with five hours left. Much love, sorry, bro. And then a white man go look at me talking about, just get off the plane. So now you made it my point to not get off the I'm living, I'm surrounded by 19 hours. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we'll ask you for your cooperation that all passengers yeah, must yeah, be yeah. with all your luggage. Thank I you. Make so what we're going to do, I got to do the plane to hold everybody because if, if, they, if, it, if it does become physical, right. we don't want any civilians involved. Hopefully, we're going to go. Now, if he doesn't get off, then I'm going to give him a fast pass for You know what I'm saying? Hey, now, if you're not, you're refusing, now you're subject to arrest. For a trespass out the warning. Because at the end of the day, you can't be here. This is like a business, it's like being at uh, a Circle K. But right. they don't want you here. But no, I want to still be here. Well, it's not, it's not the way. We're doing this for safety reasons. Exactly. Right? For safety reasons, I'll give them an another opportunity. Mr. Beckham, will you depart now? If he doesn't, then I'll issue the trespass warning. Are you good with that? Yep. Okay. And then if he's still, then. You'll be subject to arrest, and then we'll see what happens from there. Okay? All right, great. So we're on the same plan. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? Is this American? American Airlines, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, as you're exiting the aircraft, keep in mind that uh, hopefully this will be a uh, shorter um, process than... Thank you. Paramedics, do you want to be checked medically on the front desk? It's the venue that you stay on the front, for sure. Well, us, us checking on doesn't... Make it. It's all good. Yeah. 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 Yeah
got Listen. Call this all. Listen. Don't slip. Don't slip on that, brother. Don't slip on that. It ain't. But it ain't worth it, bro. That ain't worth it. I've never experienced this. I'm sorry. Whatever you do, say. Try your best. Try your best. It's hard. It's hard because trust me. It's only hard because my ego. Yeah. So I'm gonna be there. Right. And I'm gonna put that in shape. I'm gonna walk up and still get 12 minutes. You got it. You got it. You don't want to tell him. I'm good. You give me chills, man. Thank you. I feel what you're saying. I swear. I promise you. Thank you for coming. Just like it took all this just to wake me up. Well, it's, listen, it's coming from a place of love, man. So just. Thank you, bro. All right. I appreciate it. We'll walk, yeah. Just, just tell them to be in departures and give us a door where they're at. And hey, we got everybody else. Okay. Don't forget your stuff up here. That's not. Hey. We're getting out. Where are they going to pick you up? Do you know? Wherever. Okay. We'll, we'll go out by, uh, by door three or four or whatever. That way you can Right. Excuse me, folks. Excuse me. Thank you. We're going to go downstairs this is so where you can get your luggage. We'll show you where it's at. Well, I got my son's Christmas right here. Hey, what? You there, um, it's over by door what? Where, where you go pick up your luggage and stuff? Mo, what, by what door we got to go for the luggage? Four or five, right? Yeah. All right. How you doing? How much? So we had an incident on a flight going to LA where a gentleman was extremely okay. intoxicated, inebriated. Long story short, okay. he was asked to leave. We had to deplane everybody, right? Uh -huh. And uh, he finally came off voluntarily. He has checked baggage in that flight. Okay. So it's really hard to get us to get that. that okay, uh, whatever the procedure is, I'm not telling you how to do your yeah, job. So he just have to wait. And the bags will be in LAX when he gets there. Hey, so I just spoke to the lady. She said, listen, those, on a flight that big, those, those bags are in a container, so they, they get sent to LA. So when you get to LA, you can pick up, you can pick them up there or have somebody pick them up. Yeah. All right? Uh, if you're going to have somebody pick you up, just tell them that you're by door, uh, by door three uh, arrivals, and they can pick you up here, okay? All right, my man. I'm out of here. You have a good one, okay? Yes, yeah, yeah. He'll pick it up in LA. Okay? Wow. Let's go. So let's, let's go. Several individuals alleging to be on his flight complained on social media about his behavior causing a delay. American Airlines later released a statement on the incident. Odell also indirectly addressed the event on Twitter, saying, Never in my life have I experienced what just happened to me. I've seen it all. His attorney also spoke out about what transpired. In summary, he stated Odell was causing no problems. He was soon awakened and asked to put his seatbelt on or he would have to exit the plane. Eventually, they informed him it was too late and he had to leave. He claimed at no time was Odell disruptive or combative and that it was an overzealous flight attendant who wanted to prove he had authority over Odell. It's believed he did not receive a citation and was released as a result of the incident. Is there a crime in your area? Are you concerned that local news isn't giving you the full picture? Get the footage yourself. We've partnered with the lawyers at Get My Body Cam to bring FOIA to the people. Don't wait for biased phone footage or doctored police reports. Get the raw footage and see for yourself. Get 30% off your order when you use the link below with the code ZIPIT at checkout. All right, Odell. Unfortunately... For Odell, not even celebrities are above the law. 
Uh, he wasn't charged, but there are rules in place for a reason. And unfortunately, he did not comply with those rules, and so he was asked to leave. Um, look, I partially agree with his attorney's assessment that this was an overzealous flight attendant um, that wanted to exert some sort of authority over him. I don't even know that it matters that uh, he was Odell Beckham Jr. I think that um, a first class passenger wasn't following the rules of the flight attendant. And you could tell that woman and that man um, flight attendants. Uh, they were pretty uh, before the captain even said that he needs to get off the plane. They were like, he's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. So as I stated earlier, if you are on an airplane and they ask you to do something, you don't do it. And then they ask you to leave. It's just like that officer in the video said, it's just like if you're at a circle K and they tell you to leave and you're like, no, I want to be here. I'm shopping. You can't, right? If they tell you to leave, you got to leave. It's called trespassing. He wasn't trespassed. Uh, he wasn't issued a citation. He was not arrested. This is the same process that anybody else would go through if they were removed from a plane. Just because you're removed from the plane doesn't mean that you're going to be arrested. doesn't mean that you broke any laws. You maybe just broke the rules of the airline, and uh, that might not be a crime um, <clears throat> under any local or federal statute, right? What do you guys think? Do you think that his conduct warranted everybody having to get off the plane and having him get off the plane? Or do you think that this could have been summed up or or fixed very simply by just having him put his seatbelt on or putting the seatbelt on for him if he was asleep? Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, do all the things. We'll see you next time. Big Verdict.